Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today we're going to be talking about something that it's uh, a part of our daily life, and it's called making commitments and or the promises. And what is the difference between making a promise or making a commitment? That's my question to you. Have you ever made promises that you have broken? Yes, I'm sure that you have also made commitments or others said, I promise and they broke their promise or they made commitments and they did not follow through. So let us um, become a little bit more clear about the differences between commitment and promise. Promise is something that I uh, I promise to do, uh, to say, to take an action. So it's outside of me. It is a promise to call you. It is a promise to uh, maintain something. So the difference is it's the intention. A promise is the intention of I want to do this, right? Whereas commitment is uh, it's a fact it is something that it's an actionable it is present and it's like saying i'm giving you my word when we say i'm giving you my word most often we honor our word most often uh, and there yes there are those who flake out and everything but a commitment is especially when we commit to do the things we want taking action and it's not the intention but it is the action so one becomes philosophical and the other one becomes actionable now here's the thing when we want to make a commitment and i am sure you have made commitments in your life it's like setting a goal. I am committing to be in this relationship. I am committing to do this project and I take it on. Um, I'm committed to be a part of this team for the duration, right? So there is a, a goal, a vision behind it. And I wonder how often have you set a goal and how you promised and how often did you keep your promises there is a lot of people who once you start listening to the language they say i will try to be there hmm i promise i will try so i promise i will try is i'm setting the intention but i will try to do that instead of saying i am fully committed and I will be there. It's a whole difference. So when we think about it, as I've said many, many times, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist helping you shift your mindset as a reset from the core. So the subconscious mind understands fully and completely what taking ownership and committing is. And it is harder for us to uncommit unless something happens versus, oh, it's a promise. And we have, I know I have, I've made so many promises um, to go on a diet, stay on a diet for a habit or something. And I broke my own promises. And uh, I wonder, hi, hello, promises, future, commitment is present and future. Yes, Daniel, yes, thank you. Promises can be broken and commitments are not as easy because it truly, again, it's the word and it is the present, it's the actionable. Hi, Seda John, how are you? So when we think about it, that's what it is. It's uh, 
even you, Daniel, you have made promises professionally, you have made promises personally, and when you think about the promise you made to your family and the promise that you made to this new venture you have set foot, and people uh, rely upon you as part of their team, because it feels we're all committed and we're all in this together, there is a sense of ownership. So that's where the commitment comes versus the promise, the intention of I will follow through. Um, so how do we create uh, the steps to making a commitment and stick by it? First, have a set goal. And when you make a commitment, know yourself. Do you believe that as you are committing to this, is this for your best intention? And so that's the next one. You need, uh, once you set the goals, it's good to revisit your goals every so often, maybe, maybe once a month if not twice a month to see if you are on track with your commitment and it could be again personal or professional and setting goals is this uh, it's like saying yes that's done we dream big we have this beautiful desire the glorified desire and making miracles happen and yet it is the steps we take in order for that to come to fruition right so creating routines uh, every single day doing something and when we are committed in a relationship it's knowing that I am committed here and I also commit to listen to you I am committed to provide for you I am committed and taking the actions, even writing it sometimes, or drawing it, and living by your own commitments, your word to yourself, because that's more valuable, because you're talking about you, to you, before someone else. And then um, stay inspired. You know, being committed is the why. Why? do I feel I am committed? Because the why is bigger than the commitment. Sometimes that's what we need. That's what will create the spark in you. It's, uh, you know how some people say, you just uh, awakened by mojo, you sparked something in me. That's exactly what it is. So I have made a commitment to be a part of Facebook Lives, to do my heel talks, to bring value to you. So perhaps one person listening will, will make a shift and or even think, hmm, I never knew that there is a difference between promise and a commitment. I wonder what promises I broke or the things that I made a commitment and I have seen it through you know sometimes it's turning that light bulb and recognizing yourself and if you have been breaking promises why why do you make promises and break them or if you made commitment what made what happened what was the trigger that you that you did not follow through your word, your commitment. So there is a lot of things we can go into the blame, into pointing fingers. But what if at this moment you turned that mirror and you looked? You know, because the hand can be a mirror, the hand can also be a wall. We can literally walk around and saying, you know, it's not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. 
it's all about you it's pointing fingers or the hand it's like I am safeguarding me whereas if you were to shift and turn it around and face the mirror even if it is temporarily and think to yourself what hand did I have in this what could I have changed how did I break my promise maybe not to them or was I really committed was I committed in this work was I committed to this team was I committed to this relationship or I got in here with the best intention but I didn't give the word to myself that I'm going to do best and be the best and stand up or show up with my best so when we look at the bigger picture it's always good that as we shed a light and we look outside to also bring the flashlight and shed a light in our heart in our intention in our mindset so it would be a great exercise if you look and even put a piece of paper and draw a line right smack in the middle of that piece of paper and you put all my commitments and all the promises yours not what other people have promised you what other people said I'm committing to but your own and just write everything down and see which ones was easier for you to step out or break them okay most probably you will recognize that most of the promises you made was to others and the commitments that you did not honor your own word and if you look it would probably be the same from others so stay accountable take ownership and it's okay it's okay to be honest it's great to be accountable and take ownership because you want you to feel good and we don't feel good by looking outside but we look better and feel better when we start healing our own wounds uh, and uh, saying wow I didn't realize how can I change this what does it take for me to the next time when something happens I become more aware and cognizant and when I'm making a commitment this one I see through I see it through and it could be just a simple commitment I am going to come and pick you up and I will be there at seven o'clock and if even if you have a headache even if something you don't feel like getting up you say I'm gonna shift I'm going to be there at exactly two minutes before seven o'clock because I am committing to myself to arrive there on time and the last is stay on course realize that in life everything is a journey and rituals hi Chris yes creating rituals commitments are rituals in a way and our rituals create this beautiful pattern a positive power when we come to gratefulness when we come to own our response and take responsibility it, it gives us a sense of how do I say feels good to own up it feels good to speak up it feels good for you to stand up for yourself and say if I hadn't realized until now or if I did realize I want to make a change and Seda says it's like commitment 
that bride and groom making fun of all guests and it happens that after a while it doesn't work yes actually uh, uh, at that moment such a beautiful thing that you say i am committing to be in this in this relationship with you but said oh john here's the thing so many go to the altar and step up at the altar and believe it or not i know this for a fact that sometimes we or they hold their peace and they are afraid to speak up maybe they even know what's in their heart or what's about to happen they have this hesitation but they don't want their parents or other people to feel bad because they are gonna say you know what I know something is off but I'm going to give it all even though all, I'm not all in and then there's sometimes they're fully committed and yes life does happen life happens because of circumstances but what is our commitment our commitment first and foremost is to ourselves our wellness our health because no matter what happens when we get married no one comes to feed you they don't come inside the house to know what's happening and I know so many brides and grooms that got married and they held their uh, they didn't say anything because they did not want to disappoint their parents or they didn't want the gossip to happen so and then there's the Cinderella who gets married with all the beauty and vision and then they say I never saw it coming do they not see it coming they probably did but how much of a commitment so in life things do happen and um, we are talking about the ones that say I am committing and first and foremost committing to their own word their life their joy and their happiness so I'm not here to make you happy but I am here to be happy with you that I am with you because I believe my life will also enhance by being with you and for that I am committed to do everything to be happy with you and if we can make that distinction instead of thinking you are going to make my life absolutely wonderful because that's a promise so I hope this small little um, and then there's ones who get into a committed relationship and because they have given their word they make it happen and that's where the magic happens because we are committed our commitment is a vow the word to ourselves first and then to someone else or a group a community for the betterment of our lives so that's today's message I made a promise to come and speak about this and I made the commitment to arrive and come live at the right time because it is Heal Talk Tuesday and for whoever is getting this message I hope it delivered something a nugget and for you being present right here right now 
I want to say thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. And by all means, if any of these messages make a difference, subscribe to my channels, show up, share it, like it. Uh, a heart is more important than a like because you loved it. And it's all about algorithms. It's not that. I come here not because of the algorithms, but making a difference. And every single day, from the day I realized the difference between commitment and promise, I'm standing up, showing up, and making commitments. If not, I hold my peace. So until next week, God bless you. And always remember, if you text 818-221-2797 and text RELAX, you will get a gift from me, an audio recording to help you relax and unwind. Until next week, keep your promises and commit to your word. Uh, I love you too, Chris. Thank you for being here. See you soon. Ciao. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.